we're going to return to the news that several people, including a police officer and a political activist, have been stabbed in an attack in Mannheim, southwest Germany. Our Home and Security Editor Mark White is here with the latest. Um, what's, what happened then? Tell us. Well, this was a rally that was being organised in the central square in Mannheim by the BPE party, which is an anti-Islamist party, and their organiser, uh, Michael Sturzenberger, uh, had been about to speak at that rally. It's believed that he was targeted in this attack. We certainly have seen uh, from the video that was being live streamed on YouTube at the time that Michael Sturzenberger uh, was stabbed and then the attacker, having been wrestled away by someone else at the rally, uh, returned to continue stabbing this man uh, who is believed to have suffered serious injuries to his face and to his leg. Uh, we're told that he is undergoing emergency surgery at this hour. Now, in addition to Mr. Sturzenberger, two other people, one, a police officer, were stabbed in this attack. The police officer was stabbed in the neck uh, and suffered, according to the police in Mannheim, uh, significant injuries, but no more updates on his condition. The attacker was shot by colleagues of this stabbed police officer just a second or so after the officer was stabbed. Again, no update on the condition or indeed no word from the police on the motivation for this attack. But what is being reported now uh, in several publications in Germany is that Michael Sturzenberger was targeted uh, in this attack in Mannheim. Mm, and as an anti-Islam campaigner, I'm sure he'll have plenty of enemies, plenty of people who do not like what he's been saying on the, on the streets of, of Germany. It does look like this could be uh, politically motivated, if not an act of terrorism. Well, that will be uppermost in the minds of the investigators going forward, absolutely. Uh, this party has argued about uh, what they see as the increasing violence uh, from Islamist uh, groups. Uh, so he is absolutely not popular <coughs> with those who would do uh, and enact violence in the name of Islam. So, as I say, that will be a key uh, pr uh, part of the investigation going forward. But we're still fairly early on in the investigation and the police have not confirmed that as yet. They're still dealing with the aftermath of this and clearly the injured are still being treated, including uh, Mr. Stusenberger, who is undergoing emergency surgery. Well, it does seem to be a really concerning uh, incident. Mark White, thank you for the very latest information on it.